It's time for another episode of the Prehistoric Sea World, and this time we'll add some of my favorites, being the Dinochirus from the Feathered Species Pack and the Tylosaurus, the terrifying marine reptile. Besides that, I also added a new Australian exhibit and I've built a new plaza for our guests. Yes, I have been busy. Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates, and welcome back to my channel! And welcome back to the prehistoric sea world! It is finally time to go back to my favorite park in the Jurassic World Evolution 2 and add some more enclosures and some more dinos! Today we'll make quite a big progress when it comes to building our park. We'll add one, two, three, four, five different species to our park as well as a small guest section like a small plaza. And by doing all that we'll actually almost finish like this entire Big section of our park so it is all quite exciting so at first maybe let's mention what five species are we going to add today so at first you guys could see me adding uh, a new lagoon to the park last time we didn't add any so it was time to add a lagoon finally to our prehistoric sea world I think that the park definitely needs more of them and today we'll be adding one uh, and in there we'll have the Tylosaurus one of my favorite marine reptiles in the game I think it looks just phenomenal. I still haven't got the chance to build for it too, too many times, so I really wanted to add it to this park. Then we'll have a mixed species enclosure for the Australian species. We've been doing those for like African herbivores, like North American herbivores, and now I decided uh, why not add an Australian exhibit. So we'll have the Motoborosaurus and the Minmai in one of the enclosures. Uh, one of the enclosures we'll build today is sort of something very very unexpected, like something that I didn't plan but that just happened during the building this uh, section today. Uh, I basically had like a space between the lagoon and the path, like a very narrow and long space, but I decided that some small like herbivore could fit in there. Uh, I was going through the list of all the herbivores that we still uh, don't have in this park and I stumbled upon the Pachycephalosaurus and I decided that it will be a perfect content for this. Uh, I didn't have any of dinos of its kind, I mean we have the uh, Pachycephalosaurus, we have the Dracorex and we have the Stiggy Moloch and today I decided to add the Pachycephalosaurus. It is one of my favorite, st favorite dinos in the game, like still it is a base game dino. It is such an iconic species and I love this little guy so much. And finally, it is time to add one of my favorite dinosaurs in the game right now. It is from the Feathered Species Pack and it is of course the Dino Kyrus. Uh, that I think fits like perfectly to this park and th this is the dino that made me decide that I don't want to have only lagoons in this park, I want to have dinos like that as well. Uh, the Dino Kyrus is associated with water, it is an omnivore that could eat plants but also fish is as it does in the game so uh, it is so cool to finally have it in here and the enclosure that we'll build for it will be so so beautiful one of my favorites in this park for sure and besides that as I told you we'll also build a new plaza so as you guys could see uh, this was quite a lot of work actually to build for this episode this video will actually be my last video of 2023 I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas spent with your families in the amazing atmosphere and uh, now it is time for the new year so I hope you'll have a lot of fun uh, I would love to wish you everything best for the new year I hope it'll be even better than the one that we are saying goodbye to uh, and yeah just have an amazing time during the next year I would also like to thank you guys because I am finishing this year in such an incredible way uh, because the channel has just had 26,000 subscribers so thank you so much for that, thanks to all the new people who joined recently. This is so incredible because during 2023, during one year, I was able to double the number of subscribers on my channel. We started the year with 13,000, now we have 26, so this is truly like 
mind-blowing thank you guys so so much for that this is definitely the best year of my youtube career and if by any chance you are watching this video and you are not yet subscribed it will make me even more happy if you did that so please consider doing so okay but enough talking about the things not related to our park let's talk about all the things that uh, i've already built on the screen uh, so as you guys can see i basically finished the australian species exhibit uh, for the motaborosaurus and the minmai uh, it, they have like this uh, river that is continuing through the north american species walkthrough exhibit as well uh, i added different ground textures and different plants I also wanted to make the uh, lagoon for the Tylosaurus uh, being the background of the entire habitat so it looks so so cool with, with those uh, different height variation and this is something that I was going for I knew that I had to save the space for uh, the lagoon I sort of teased it in the last episode because uh, I already saved this space there for the lagoon and I tested it to have it on the right like heights to uh, you know make it look a bit more interesting so the lagoon is a background for this exhibit after being done with it i did some decorating next to the exhibit i used our usual decorations as well as the new bins and and benches that i must honestly say that i really forget about like i am so used to the decorations that we had in the game like using them and you know creating like different patterns with them and stuff like that that i am sort of forgetting about those and this is so weird because because I wanted them to, in the game for such a long time, but I'm so used to the pieces that we had that I am just not thinking about the new pieces. I don't know if it makes any sense, but I sort of like need to remind myself to add those bins and benches, but they really make your park look so much better and so much more alive, like generic and so on. So I think it is really important to actually add them. After being done with that, I started to work on my favorite exhibits from the entire park, I think, the Dino Kyrus exhibits. Uh, I really wanted to make something like a valley for them with a lot of water. Uh, so I used this like natural edge uh, of the map where uh, you had this like elevation on almost all of the sides of the exhibits. Uh, and in the front, the guests can get this really wonderful view inside of this valley that is filled with water. Uh, there is, it's, it is like very lush on the sides and they still have a lot of space in there. Uh, I added the fish feeder in the, in the middle so they spent a lot of time there and they look just so amazing. Just wait till I show you this exhibit in the real time part. Uh, by the end of this video I am sure that you guys will like it because uh, I think it is something special thanks to this like elevation and the water down there. It looks so 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 incredible. After being done with that I uh, I added the path and then I decided to uh, squeeze in some uh, unplanned exhibit as I told you guys before and add the Pahicephalosaurus in there. Uh, it was quite a struggle actually to make it uh, because uh, I wanted to make it look nice uh, with the background of the uh, of the lagoon. I didn't want to make it, the lagoon too visible so I still wanted to add a lot of plants, a lot of trees to make it look like a bit blend together with the entire exhibit and so on uh, and in the end I am quite happy with that and after I will be done with this exhibit it will be time to decorate the new plaza for our park uh, I actually skipped adding the paths because adding paths in there was such a pain I hate adding paths like around the animities in the game uh, the game just doesn't allow you to place them too uh, close and you want to make it all seamless uh, that's why I am not often adding the animities like the shops and so on in the middle of the plaza because of the path problems but this time I really wanted to make something like this I covered all the things that didn't look good with a lot of decorations uh, I added some new decorations like a new fountain uh, I added a lot of fountains in there to make it look uh, suitable and proper for our uh, prehistoric sea world I also added new benches and quite a lot of new decorations in there I think it looks phenomenal in the end I really like this little corner 
corner of our park. Uh, and then I focused on creating like this path that will go up to this little hill that we have, have on this map. And actually we'll focus on this hill in the next episode. Uh, I unfortunately didn't record too much of decorating that and also doing like the viewing galleries for the Tylosaurus Lagoon. So sorry for that, but I will show you all the things in the real time part of the video so you guys won't miss anything. When it comes to the Tylosaurus that we'll add also in today's episode, I really love the design of this creature. I think it looks just phenomenal. It also has some amazing color variations, so this is also something that I like. And actually in the latest update, they also added the social animation finally for the Tylosaurus because the Tylosaurus and the Mosasaurus uh, were two species that were missing the social animation and finally it was added and it is quite nice. I really like this little nip that they do on the fin and the other one gets angry. It is such a nice animation. So yeah, really happy to have it finally and I will make sure to showcase that either in the intro or when we'll see at the park in the real time. I must say that I really enjoy making this park. I really enjoy building here and your comments make it make it even better because they are always so so amazing. A lot of you are excited for this series and you like it so it makes me so happy and it makes me want to build here even more so more episodes are definitely coming. I also saw some people asking for the Cretaceous Desert Park and this will be the next episode from the Jurassic World Evolution that I will publish on the channel so if you are wa waiting for that uh, the new episode is coming we are so close to finishing the Cretaceous Desert Park uh, so I cannot wait to do the final tour of it and then you know add it to the Nexus so you guys can check it out yourselves. Okay and this is all when it comes to the speed build part of the video. I hope you guys liked what you've seen so far. Uh, I will make sure to show you everything in detail in the real time part of the video that will start very soon. See you there! Okay, so let's see everything that we've added in today's episode to the prehistoric sea world. As you guys can see in front of us, there is this new Australian mixed species habitat with the Mataborosaurus in here. And we also can see a little Minmai. Uh, they are quite hard to spot in this enclosure because it is very like lush. They're hiding in the bushes, but there's uh, six of them. We can see two right now. But believe me that there are six, but they are hiding somewhere. The Mataborosaurus looks just phenomenal, phenomenal in here. I also love that the back of this enclosure is just the lagoon. It looks so, so amazing. Uh, and yeah, this is how it looks. We also have like a little like, guest section, like a path in here uh, with the new benches, with uh, some decorations. We have the like the viewing gallery for this habitat in here. And uh, we also have the viewing tower for the walkthrough exhibit uh, that is in there. Uh, the, the river that you can see in here is just floating through here and is going inside of the exhibit in here. Uh, it's, there is a fence so that they cannot cross in there. Uh, and we also have like a little backstage like thing in here for uh, for any like workers of uh, our park and so on. Uh, so on the other hand side, we have uh, the mixed uh, African species enclosure that we added some time ago. And if we'll continue this way, we'll move past the. Uh, the Australian section in here. Uh, there's a new skeleton that I added with a lot of those little planters. I think it looks really cool, even though it looks a bit messy, but uh, just someone just decided to put some of the plants in here and just left them. But it looks amazing. Uh, I think. I really like adding those small pots. Uh, if you'll continue this way, in front of us you can see a new plaza that we added, uh, but in here you can also see, oh, we are so lucky in here today, uh, you can actually see the new enclosure, the new small enclosure for the Pachycephalosaurus, one of my favorite dinos in the game. Uh, this is the only water that I was able to squeeze in here, but they are actually able to use it, so it is, it is very, very cool that they are, because sometimes when you add this very tiny amount of water, uh, the dinos are not able to drink from from it and uh, this time they are uh, So we have quite a lot of those guys in here because this enclosure is very long I think uh, there are six of them or something uh, So they don't look it doesn't look like it is too small or anything, but 
Uh, it is definitely like very squeezed in, but I didn't have any other idea for this space, so I decided to add more dinos. Why not? Uh, okay, let's look at the plaza. Maybe we'll just you know zoom out a bit to show you how it all looks. Uh, so we have two. Three, sorry, I cannot count. We have three new uh, shops. We have the the sushi, we have the coffee, and we also have the uh, the gift shop in here. We have some benches for the guests to sit, and we have a new uh, fountain with a lot of benches to sit uh, also on, like. Yeah, the benches are used to see them. Uh, and we have so, like some of the banners and it looks all so, so good. I really like it. Uh, I must say, I must do something more interesting in here because I, I, I'm not a big fan of this, uh, of this fountain just being in there. But this is how the new plaza looks. Uh, and the new plaza just welcomes you to the new section of our park that is in here. And in here we have uh, one of my favorite dinos. Uh, I think it is like top three or anything uh, for the Dino Kairos. There is a lot of water in this exhibit. And this is definitely something that I wanted to give them. Uh, we have a lot of those logs to make it look a bit more like... Oh, there's a new... There's this... Oh, uh, social animation that I love. I think, no, they are not doing this, but this was very similar. This is just sleeping. Um, but uh, I really wanted to use those locks to make it look more like a swamp. Unfortunately, you cannot place those locks into the water, but it will look so, so good if you could. Uh, but yeah, this is how the enclosure looks uh, with this huge water valley for them. There's a lot of different trees. They can go in there and hide. Uh, but yeah, this looks like this and I really, really, really love it. Uh, maybe we'll be lucky enough to see them feed from the fish feeder. But uh, oh my God, one of my favorite enclosures in this park for sure. And one of my favorite dinos in the game. So I am so, 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 so happy that it turned out this way. Uh, but okay, we won't be waiting for uh, anything like, too interesting to happen in here. Maybe they are doing their really cool social animation or not. Uh, let's see in here. Let's see. Yes, it is happening. I just love this animation, so we need to see that. Yeah, it just covered its head with the tail. Oh my god, this is so... like. This is so amazing. This, those little things is something that I love so much about this game. Like, incredible. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Oh, this is also super, super nice. I love the way they drink or eat or like just how they move. It is so amazing. Uh, if we'll continue this way, there is this like new path that is going up there. Uh, there are the viewing galleries for the uh, for the Dino Kairos, but if we'll continue this way, the left hand side of the path is not finished at all because uh, this was something that we'll do in the next episode. Uh, I like decorated this side of the path with different decorations. I always need to have some decorations like on the parameters of the path because otherwise I just feel like the path is just not complete or something. So. I'm so used to doing stuff like this that I just need to add some decorations. And in here we have this like tiny little plaza uh, that leads you to the two uh, like viewing galleries for the Tylosaurus. So I uh, guess oh, they can get quite a nice view for the zip lines in the back, uh, but also for sure for our Tylosaurus that is just in here. If you go inside of the water, you can see this beautiful, majestic guy i just love them so much they look so like dangerous and so like aggressive and i just love them love it about them uh so yeah let's zoom out to show you everything that we've built today i hope it's not too uh it's not too dizzy for you guys but yeah this the, here is the new enclosure for the uh, Australian species. Here is the Pachycephalosaurus enclosure that goes all this way in here. Uh, we have the Dinochirus like uh, valley, and we also have the new Tylosaurus lagoon. If you go out from the capture mode and uh, show you the entire park, you can see that this whole big like chunk of the terrain, like this whole section, is almost finished because. Uh, we also have this part that needs to be uh, like completed, but we'll do it in the future. Uh, in the next episode, I think that we will focus on this path, uh, on this part. I also want to build like a little uh, backstage area to have the hatchery and the capture team and anything like any, everything in there. 
Uh, but yeah, if we'll go to the map to show you how our park looks right now, it looks like this. It is quite big and yeah, we were able to add this big section in today's episode uh, and I just love it. The game sometimes do is, does it for me uh, when I'm leaving. Oh, sorry. Oh my God, this is a mess. When I just want to leave the, the map, it just... Oh, okay, we are able to fix that. But it just, you know, freaks out and I cannot do anything, so sorry for that. What I also wanted to mention is that it's already uh, a sixth episode of the series, so it's just, just progressing quite fast for my abilities, I must say. Uh, and the other thing that I wanted to say is that it is such a pity that the Tylosaurus cannot use the shark feeder. I don't know why, but I feel like this, this uh, marine reptile would be just perfect for them, for the shark feeder. It just looks like it would be capable of jumping out and, you know, uh, eating this shark. So, yeah, uh, I will leave you uh, while watching this beautiful creature. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video like this. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, also, leave me a nice comment if you liked today's video and if you liked uh, how the park is growing, how it is progressing. Maybe you have some like uh, suggestions on the dinos that we should still add to to the park. If you like to support the channel a little bit extra, you can do it with the join button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!